Hello divers, GUE fans and YouTubers. Welcome to this very exciting video, at least it's very exciting for me. Uh, my name is Nico Luro, I am the head of GUE YouTube Productions. I take care of everything that is kind of video content and post-production and I have the privilege of being joined by, he doesn't want me calling in this, but I'm going to throw you under the bus anyway, <laughs> I've got the privilege of being joined by uh, a tech diving legend, uh, Mr. Michael Menduno. Uh, Michael, thank you very much for joining me today. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for having me here, Nico. I'm happy to be here. Good. I'm glad to have you. Now, obviously, this is completely a test run what we're doing. Um, I'll let you crack on in just a moment to say all the good stuff that we're going to be talking about but um if you guys like this please be sure to give this video you know give it the old thumbs up and this is with you know subject subject to michael's availability because he's a very busy man we'll try and make this a monthly occurrence to coincide with uh, a certain something which we're going to talk about right now so i mean michael tell, tell us a bit a little bit about what you actually do at gue right so i'm the editor-in-chief of in-depth which is uh, GUE's online magazine. Um, it's aimed at the whole tech diving community, and it's a monthly publication. We push it out every month on email, and then the stories live in uh, uh, live online at indepth.blog. Now, yeah. If, yeah. if people, um, let's say they're fans of GUE, but they're not necessarily familiar with in-depth blog, travesty if you're not, by the way, but if they're not fans or not uh, or not followers, I should say, of in-depth blog, what's the best way for them to be able to actually um, be, be on the be on the notification list so they ah. get the, they get the new issue every month? Right. So it's a free subscription. You can you can obviously just visit the website and find a story that you're interested in and read it, or you can subscribe and then. Um, we do a push email several times a month with new stories. So you'll be alerted when the new issue comes out and when the new stories come out. But again, it's all free. You just sign up uh, on the on the site. Yep. Easy peasy. So again, if you guys aren't doing that, make sure that you are signed up on the site so you get, I mean, this is free guys. You've got a legend <laughs> of the tech diving industry literally giving you juicy tidbits every single month. Why, why would you not do that? Well, am yeah. I right in understanding that you've um, you've got an issue coming out this coming Thursday? Yes, uh, we, we usually push out the first Thursday of every month. So this Thursday, September 3rd, will be the new issue. And we have some really, really pretty intriguing and compelling stories, I think. So oh, well, I'm not going to leave it there. You need to tell me more. <laughs> uh, what, um, what, so, what can we expect this Thursday? So our lead story, some some newly released information has come out that questions the validity of uh, a man Ahmed Gaber's world record Guinness world record dive to 332 meters uh, it was done about six years ago so our story kind of explain you know looks at what this new information is why is it coming out now and what it may mean for uh, Gaber's record so that's our first piece. Um, I then smell do... a scandal. Pardon? Do I smell a scandal? It's it, it's a it's it's a it's a difficult story. It's it, it's a sad story actually. I mean, there's still questions. You know, we're not really in a position to judge. That'll be up to Guinness uh, World Records to determine if uh, Mr. Gobber should retain his record or not but uh we kind of go through the inside story i've interviewed some of the team members wow. and others uh, the past world record holder nino combs and others so uh, i i think it's an important read for the community most definitely so it's literally yeah. some info straight from the horse's mouth um yeah so to speak. Uh, yep. what else have you got for us so um if, if you've been to a dive show lately i guess none of us have been to a dive show lately unfortunately <laughs> But when we were going, uh, you might notice uh, over the years that the age of uh, divers uh, keeps, the average age keeps getting older and older. And so we asked the question, you know, where have all the young divers gone? And uh, our managing editor, uh, Amanda White, uh, has interviewed a gentleman, a British, 20-year-old uh, British caver, uh, Rob Thomas, um, and his new organization, Young Divers International. So we take a plunge into that and look at some of the things uh, Rob is doing in his organization to bring and inspire, you know, under 30 Gen, Gen Z divers uh, and to get them involved and what the industry can do to, to kind of facilitate that, uh, to attract more young divers. 
I'll be honest, you've got me more than intrigued there. Simple reason being is that it's one of those things that until you really just pointed it out, so, mm. you know, kind of in the back of my mind, I've always been aware that there's clearly, an, we're, we're clearly an aging populace as divers. Right. But I've never kind of thought, well, there's A, there's B, let's join the dots and question why. So, I mean, I am can't wait to read about that. Um, and yeah, it's, it's fascinating exciting. that you... You, so you've got what was it? Youngdivers.com? dot mm -hmm. Young Divers International. Young uh, Divers. YDI, International. Maybe dot com or dot org. I'm not sure. One one of those. The yeah, other one I came recently that I found fascinating is um, singlefemaledivers.com. and it's like so we're apparently huh. now being used as a platform for dating. Huh? Who well, knew? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> We encompass a broad, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a big tent. Yes, <laughs> honestly, yeah. it's a weird one because I mean you've been doing this far longer than I have, but I've been diving over twenty years now, and without fail, I you know I think you've probably experienced this too. You show someone a video from underwater, a photo from underwater, especially if they're not divers. More often than not, the reaction is, "Oh, that's awesome! How can I do that?" It's like, well, it's not hard. Do it. <laughs> I know it's it's a conundrum. Almost everybody you talk to, probably you know, two thirds of the people you would talk to, are fascinated by going underwater. Yeah. May wish to do it someday, mm. and yet you know, di diving is just we're just a tiny sliver of the population. I mean, most of the world's water. We are the people who go underwater, yeah. and yet we're just a uh, very small in number, though mighty. So uh, it small. is a conundrum, and Amanda explores some of this. Uh, in in this article so i i think it'll be i think it'll be a good one people should read no oh, most definitely yeah. i can't wait yeah. for that what else have you got planned for us okay so now that uh, swimming and training is good pools are opening so people are able to start classes again and training though they okay. may be doing some of their classroom over zoom uh so we thought it'd be interesting to take a a dive into pool chemistry when you're swimming around in that pool you know what 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 keeps it uh, sanitized uh, what doesn't etc so we have a great piece by riley fogarty on uh, was one of our, our mainstay writers on uh, off the deep end uh, everything you want to know about pool chemistry so that's kind of an interesting one um, <laughs> we also have a very cool historical uh, piece uh, it's a reprint from Historical Diving Society, um, and it, it's, it's, it's called the Santa Barbara Helium Rush, The Legacy of Dan Wilson's 400-Foot Gas Dive. So Dan Wilson, this was back in the 60s, and this was sort of equivalent to uh, the Wakulla Springs Project, if you will, right. or, or the things that kicked off tech diving. This was the commercial diving industry's first venture into mixed gas diving, and it was done in Santa Barbara by a group headed by 30, then 33-year-old Dan Wilson. So right. it's a really interesting story, and I think a lot of uh, early tech divers will be able to relate to it, because again, it's just a group group of people who put together the technology to go and, and, and accomplish this mission. Um, we also have uh, some environmental stuff in the issue, which is going to be good. We look at uh, a project baseline project uh, at Lake Rotatoa in New Zealand and looking at a, 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 a mussel die-off, basically a mass extinction event among mussels, you know, uh, oh, yeah. crying cockles and mussels alive, alive, no. So, uh, anyway, so it's a really interesting story and uh, the like. And then, then we have some other tidbits, uh, some of the five most precious shipwrecks off the North American coasts and, uh, and some other things. So uh, I think it's going to be an exciting issue and people are going to want to read it. Well, you've got me excited. Just just to fill in a few gaps, just because obviously what we're, sure. we're trying to blend worlds here, aren't we? We're, we're bringing the world of in-depth and YouTube together. So mm -hmm. just in case there's a little bit of um, lost in translation amongst our YouTube viewers. Um, Project Baseline is essentially Global Underwater Explorers Conservation Initiative. We've actually, if you're Correct. on our YouTube channel, we've got an entire playlist dedicated to conservation. You'll see a load of cool videos on there. That's on the channel right now. So actually i'll stick a link up there so go ahead and have a look at it if uh, if you are watching this now um and as for vacula springs we've actually got a very cool video with a load of our GUE divers uh, having oh, fun pvs at uh, vacula springs that's also on the channel and i'll okay. stick the link up yeah it's up there now so the link will be above right now so go guys have a look at that um now 
I need to ask you something on a personal level here, coming from a place of complete novelty as a tech diver. Um, but I've always had an element of fascination with tech diving. Um, I mean, background for myself, started diving when I was nine years old, spent 10 plus years working as an instructor. But you know, like, like with a lot of people, you get to a certain place with your diving career and you want to explore new avenues, which is what's brought me to GUE. Now, fascinated as I am in the fact that I've got my first sort of GUE stripes, the thing that's always kind of, I guess made me apprehensive a bit is getting into tech diving. Because while I desperately want to see some of the wrecks that you guys go and dive, and while I desperately want to dive in some of the cave systems you do, it's, I guess it's the overwhelming sense of techiness. I wouldn't even really know how to quantify that further, really. But you, I think you know what I mean. The fact that you're laughing means you, you've probably heard this one before. What would you say to, to help people overcome that fear? If they want to, if you say, oh, give tech a try. Yeah, well, uh, there is a certain geekiness factor uh, oh. in tech diving, and you need to know some math and all that. But, uh, you know, I think it's like a lot of things. It's it's a process, right, to go from here to there. You don't suddenly go from being a recreational diver to making 100-meter jumps. You know, it's it's <laughs> step by step and building up skills, which uh, GUE is very focused on, and problem solving. So. You know, it's funny, I was on a podcast recently and people said, tell me about your scariest dive ever. And you know, I had to really think, and the fact was, it wasn't a tech dive because in tech diving, there's rarely a lot of drama, right? The whole idea right. is to kind of be chill and, and everything else. My scariest dives were before I started tech diving as a recreational diver, so you know, not knowing all the things I should have known, etc. But fortunately, what doesn't kills us make us makes us stronger so uh i'm here to <laughs> tell the tale so <laughs> i mean yeah. you, you you've summed that up perfectly i can tell i mean i'm not a tech diver as i've already just confessed but i can tell you the stupidest things that i've done and, and you know when you've done something silly underwater it doesn't <laughs> yeah. matter what your experience level is you come up and you have a kind of outer body experience don't you your sort of corporal <laughs> yeah. self looks down on you and goes that was silly i shouldn't have done that yes <laughs> won't do that again You're right, right. <laughs> we've all had a few of those moments yes so i mean to get into tech diving is the key just don't be afraid and trust in the training well yeah i mean i think people get into tech diving because of a a desire a desire to do something more whether it's visit a certain shipwreck or a cave or a right. reef etc and so you know, it's not something you get pushed, or shouldn't be pushed into. It's something that pulls you in. So I think that, and just, you know, taking your time. Again, it's it's not a race. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's a process and a journey. And uh, a lot of the fun is along the way. So uh, yeah, people should just take a deep breath and mm. uh, take a step forward. I feel it's like you're very strange. cleverly planting the seeds for me there, given that I've said, <laughs> oh, I like the wrecking <laughs> cave. <laughs> He's got me already. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but look, Mike, I know you're super busy. I'm not going to keep you too much longer. I am going to gently prod, though, given that you brought up this story already about Ahmed Gaba. Um, sport, I mean, you don't have to, but I'm going to try for it. I wouldn't be doing my job properly if I didn't. Fact or fiction, did he actually break the deepest record? Well, Nico, you're going to have to read the story to find out. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean... This is not your first rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the issue will be out on Thursday. And in fact, that story we're also going to be publishing uh, jointly with in-depth and deeperblue.com over in your uh, country. And yep. uh, yeah, so that'll be coming out Thursday, this, this coming Thursday. Perfect. So guys, you heard it right here from uh, Mr. Michael Menduno himself. New article of in-depth available this coming Thursday. Is there a specific time, or is just scheduled to sort of drop at midnight? Wednesday? I think it'll. I think it'll be out uh, in the more Pacific time at about eleven a.m. Pacific time. Okay, and, so uh, six, six p.m. UK time. Bingo. Yep. Six p.m. UK time here in. Uh, on Thursday, guys, new edition from Michael Menduno and the whole team at In Depth. Uh, Michael, just before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to plug? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, plug. Uh, you know, just uh, 
check out in-depth for sure check out in-depth uh that's good and uh yeah <laughs> we'll go from there and the new youtube channel i'm excited that's next week you're going to be relaunching it right um yeah the youtube is getting its official relaunch this coming tuesday there'll be a live stream between me and more diving royalty miss dorota cherne this coming tuesday the 8th of september keep an eye on the youtube community tab we'll be making announcement of exactly what time so just keep an eye out that community tab is right there for the clicking all info will be there uh, meanwhile guys please do make sure that you're as i said following in-depth blog please if you like this video and you want to see more of myself interviewing uh old diving royalty over there mr michael menduno give this video a thumbs up leave your comments if you've got any questions they'll come through to me i'll make sure that michael gets them and he gets into uh, and he, we get some answers from him okay yep. anything else we need to cover michael or are we all set I, I think that's it. Next, so a week from this Tuesday. Tuesday's tomorrow, Nico. I know you've been really busy, so you're oh, uh, hey, thank in you. time I'm space. Yeah, man. a week from Tuesday on uh, the eighth, and uh, in depth will be out this Thursday on the third. So, uh, safe Fine. diving, everyone, uh, and enjoy yourself. Michael, thank you so much for your time, and uh, for you. those of you watching on YouTube, thank you for joining us, and see you very soon. Bye, guys.